Everything you need to know about Adult Me's Spring Fest update that's coming into the game very soon, including what some of the brand new pets actually look like. This right here is last year's example of the Spring Fest update. Inside of this, there was a bunch of mini games such as Fashion Fever, and Adult Me tends to go and bring back mini games from previous events, so there is a high chance we might be going and getting Fashion Fever again this year. If you can't remember how Fashion Fever worked, or if you never experienced this game, you would go and wait for a lot to earn an in-game currency. You go and join it and then 12 players compete against each other to try and dress up their pet to a specific theme. For example, this was a clown theme, so whoever made the best clown looking pet would then go and win the competition. Once your time is up, people then go and vote on which one is the best outfit and whoever has ranked the most with the most amount of votes goes and receives um, more of the in-game currency. Springfest currency is most likely going to come back but is not yet officially confirmed. The currency that players will go and receive is eggs, Easter eggs, which is pretty fun since, you know, it's Easter, Springfest, Easter, they tend to combine the two updates together, in case any of you are expecting an Easter update, the Springfest is basically the Easter update. For example, these are all the people who gone and won, and yeah, there was a shop. Let's go and check out what was actually in last year's shop before I go and show you what is gonna be in this year's shop, which is kind of exciting. Last year we had a pigeon for 60,000 eggs, this rabbit for 35,000 eggs, and there was a bunch of other things. There was so much to explore on this. This was only week one. This tends to be a four week event. Last year this event lasted us four weeks. So very likely it's going to be a similar theme and last us a long time. It seems they also held a Robux sale, like a spring sale. And yeah, there was all of these pet wares, there was different rooms, like this room then unlocked a different pet, and uh, there was different mini games through here, and more pets through here that unlock at each stage. So week one is going to unlock a room, week two unlocks a separate room, week three unlocks a separate room. I think you guys get the idea. So now you're probably all wondering, well, what are the brand new pets that we are going and getting? How do we know that this update is even actually coming out? Let me go and show you. Starting off with this Adopt Me video called Splish Splash. This is a YouTube short posted by Adopt Me, where all that seems to happen is it zooms into a pond with a lily pad. The comments are definitely interesting, and they basically all say that it's the Spring Festival. Now for the first pet that has been officially revealed, we have some type of frog or a toad. I honestly... I'm not too sure. I'm kind of surprised by this, to be honest. But as you can see, this is actually right outside the front of the nursery, which is very interesting. Because when a pet is right out front of the nursery, that means like one of two things, that it's either gonna cost just a thousand bucks, for example, like the Mecha Meow or previous things such as like the Rock, um, or it will be a Robux pet which um, honestly, no idea at this point. This might not be for the Spring Festival. A dummy could just want to be making some weird red and green moldy looking frog. And we can tell it's a frog, it's jumping. It says croak and then, wait, why is there an evil emoji? It does kind of look like an evil frog to be honest. <laughs> like it's got like little horns and it's red and green. That kind of sounds evil. Maybe it's a poisonous frog. All right, let's have a look what the comments say. Someone said it's a mushroom frog. This says it's a lovely pattern. Maybe it's a frog or a toad. People are saying that they can't wait for this spring fest. Yeah, is this for the spring fest? I imagine so. Maybe this video is just placed in front of the nursery for a random reason. Yeah, people are saying that is it maybe a frog. It is definitely a frog or a toad. You can literally see the thing jumping. Yeah, it's not a full video, but you can also see it croaking. And no other animal actually croaks, so this is 100% a frog. Most people are saying it's a mushroom frog, and some people are saying, is it a bird? It's a plane? It's a frog. All right. Yeah, this doesn't really look like they revealed too much as of just yet. But if we do have a look at the previous year, this is last year, we got four separate weeks. All right, so there was a lot of stuff that happened in these weeks, including some special boxes. 
So before we got duckling boxes, which do include some of the craziest pets. So if I search duckling, you could have got yourself a sunrise duckling, a pretty underrated pet. This came out exactly nearly one year ago. And then there was the ultra, which is the flower power. Then there was the happy duckling. There we go. So that was all of the pets that you could have got out of that box. Then there was also the goose. I think the goose was a Robux pet. Correct me if I am wrong. I think this cost like a 150 Robux or something. So I imagine that yes, there will be a Robux pet. So there is a chance that that frog or toad is actually a Robux legendary or a Robux rare since last year it was a rare pet um and it cost us robux again not officially confirmed but what is confirmed is that we're getting an update Adopt Me literally always goes and does this spring festival and i'm pretty sure if they did not go and do it again then there would be so many angry players and we know Adopt Me likes to go and like appeal to everyone so let's actually go and check out what was in week two there was a bunch of toys there was vehicles just a bunch of things that were introduced including a legendary oh we had the field mouse you could have got that last year and yeah that's the goose 150 robux but the field mouse was 75,000 eggs so most likely we're going to get eggs. So there's going to be some type of like Easter hunt to go and walk around the map, collect the eggs every single day, probably about 30 eggs. As always, Adopt Me has done that every single year that I've played Adopt Me. There's always been an Easter egg hunt where you go and collect the eggs daily and you can get like 30 eggs. Okay, what else is that? Furniture Frenzy. Okay, last year's minigame was Furniture Frenzy. I forgot about this game. This was the second mini game that you could go and play that came out in week two. We had to go and collect furniture from this place and try and furnish a house. Honestly, I don't know how this is spring themed, but it was a mini game and Adopt Me tends to go and bring back mini games. I mean, look at Christmas, for example, the ice skating mini game is there every single year. The one where you have to like go and mine the block out of your pet or whatever. I don't know what that one was called, the fossil one that comes back every single year. So basically the same mini games come back each year. So it's highly likely that we're going to be going and getting that furniture mini game again this year. I mean, they've made the game and people liked it. So they're most likely going to bring the exact same mini game back. In week three, they went and revealed a legendary vehicle, which was this giant helicopter. And uh, there was, there's the Easter egg. There he is. Go around. Each one of these eggs equals 30 eggs. Go and collect it around the map. Once this update does come out, I will go and make a video showing every single location of the eggs as these things tend to go and change each time every single year. They go and mix it up a bit, put them in different positions. And yeah, this was a Robux vehicle. I forgot about that. Then the box, 12,000 eggs. I wonder what the box is going to be this year. Go and comment down below. Lots of people are thinking it's going to be a cow box. Since you know, there's so much hype behind the cows inside of Adopt Me. Everyone loves the cow pets. So there's a chance there might be like a flower one. Since last year, we got the flower power one. I mean, we got, yeah, the flower power duckling. So people are thinking we could get a flower power cow, which is not confirmed, but I mean, it would kind of make sense for them to add that. A cow seems like a, a springish animal, maybe. <laughs> Baby, I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments. But so many people are theorizing that we could be able to go and get a flower power cow and maybe like a, a golden cow or, or something along the lines of that. Since literally everyone loves cows. What's there not to like about them? One of the most preppy pets that people will definitely overpay you for. And yeah, my cow is called You Star Code Candy, which if you are going and buying Robux, Go and use stack code candy to go and help support me. It's completely free. Or even if you buy premium. So when is this spring first coming out? Well, we know that this fire dimension event actually goes and ends in 10 days. Last year's spring fest came out on the 20th of March, which is just over a month away. So we've got just over a month for this um, until the update comes out, which is uh, pretty decent. I'm sure Adopt Me Weekly News will go and confirm a bunch more things before that. Obviously, the fire dimension, you have 10 days left to try and go and get the lovely little rhino, which is an amazing pet if you haven't seen it already. The volcanic rhino. This is the pet, a very rare pet, very cool pet to get your hands on. And uh, I did have a neon, but I traded it. It was uh, a very valuable pet. 
and I wanted it gone, but I do have a bunch more of these and I am going and giving away some completely for free. So let us know about the Spring Fest. What do you think? Are you excited about it? Did you completely forget that Spring Fest is happening like me? Like I completely forgot that this was an update and that it would be coming out soon. But I do love Easter mainly because I love eating chocolate. Um, so I like eating the Easter eggs. But can you blame me, really? I opened 100 lures in Adopt Me to see what pets and what toys and stuff I get. Click here right now. I think you'll love this video next, so click here right now to go and watch it. I dare you to.